Hi. Hi. I'm Kate. Edward. Edward. This is your gallery? Yeah. I missed your opening. Oh, well, can come you on please in. show me? Of course. I'll give you a, a little private view. Come on That's in. That's terrific. Yeah, you can see this is this is a lovely space. All right. It is, it is. So come over here and I'll just we'll start okay. over here because I'd right. like you to see what I've done over here. Okay. Love to see it. This piece here is an environmental piece. It's about the relationship of what we've done to the forest relative to the growing population. These flesh-colored uh, pieces here represent people and the green, of course, of the trees. Mm -hmm. So as we progress through the century, you see more and more people and less and less trees. Ed, tell me about this piece. Oh, yeah, this one is uh, called Chinese Circle. See all the Chinese heads? Yes, I it's, do. it's instead of Tiananmen Square, this is Tiananmen Circle, if you will. So it's a little bit of a play in words. And these are the hundreds and thousands of Chinese people, and these are their political posters and carry on for and a big rally. These are matches? Those are matches. Those are just plain red matches. They're, they're little, little ones, not the kitchen matches. And this is, a, this is a, a tin, and that's a spool. It's a baked tin. And you can just imagine. Can you hear the crowd? Gonna hear the yeah. Oh, you don't speak Chinese. Okay, nor do I. That's okay. <laughs> They're cheering and carrying on. So this no is a rally. political piece. You could call it a political piece. Yeah, that's called Wyo Wyo Wyo, after the song Wyo Wyo Wyo. Did I ever leave Ohio, or did we ever leave Ohio? And Ohio represents the blue and the Middle America, and America gone to war, and the red stripes of our flag are are roll caps that have been uh, shot. So it represents the uh, bellicose nature of our foreign policy, our present foreign policy. And uh, that's what that's about. I'll probably get somebody visiting me. <laughs> and in, interspersed between the artworks are artifacts, like an old pricing thing. This is quite wonderful. But this, is, this represents 19th century in, industry to me. Just listen to the sound. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have electric motor hooked up to that all day long. So I'll keep working, right? Okay. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> yes. And now they have the plastic ones that put prices on objects. What's this piece called? This piece is called uh, Kissy Kissy. And this is made of piano parts. I use old, very old pianos. And they're put together with high glue. So if you put the elements, the uh, key assembly would have you into the w warm water, these pieces dissolve and come apart. Kissy kissy? Kissy kissy. I can see the lips. See the lips and their lips, see there, lips too, there too, right? And there's the heart shape there for the lovey doveys. It's to do with the red and the red. I and like this piece. Do you? Yes. Well, I'm glad. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Okay, now this one. This one here is called Rise of the Brown Shirts and it's to do with Nazi Germany and the brown shirts predecessors to the Nazis of the earlier part of the of that political process of, of fascism and the brown fabric from the piano representing the heavy brown fabric of the shirts and intertwined with the swastikas, which you have to look very carefully. So it's a sort of swastika and, uh, and, and fabric uh, parquet. Called Rise of the Brown Rise of the Brown Shirts, yeah. Oh, this is another this piano is piece called Piano Birds, I and see. it's, it's birds made out of the piano parts, all right? And they, they get very, they're like uh, cranes with their long and the beaks go up and down oh. and so forth, right? And they vibrate. It's got the number of the piano on there, 13094 and the T, and I'm not sure what the, who the manufacturer is, but each piano has its own personality, so it's quite fun to keep track of that. This is called so Piano the, Birds. Piano Birds, that's it. I love you it. You can just hear them making a the noise, right? Yes. Okay. Structure and what about this piece here? This piece is called Bloodlines. It refers to procreation, but more so to the introduction and mixing of blood racial types, the slow, often painful homogenization of peoples. These plaster float handles represent male members. The back represents the semen or the seed of the peoples. And then the front is the, is the sperm and, the, and which making, you know, the racial, represented the racial types. That's a bun in the oven, if you will. That's a baker's, a baker's bread tin. 
I think it works quite well with these different colors coming yes. down. That's one of the things I've done with this collection of plaster float handles, which I quite like. Any questions? Do you remember the very first found object piece of art that you've done? No. Were you always a found object artist or did you start off with painting? And yeah, I'm yeah. sure you experimented sure. around. Yeah. Of course, you gravitated towards it, right? Yeah, I gravitated. That's yeah, yeah. A lot of your art, when I see it, is um, it's relationships. It's all about relationships. You see objects and you create relationships well put, between yeah. one yeah. one object and another. That's well put, yeah. And, and insofar, like, you would never see, uh, uh, you know, toothpicks with, you know, uh, gear shaft hangers or something like that, you know, but, but you put together objects and they, it tells a story. Mm -hmm.